You know that the Big Bang theory says that everything started from an explosion. Now we say that the Big Bang is true. There was a huge explosion, and the universe was created. What happened before that? In response to this question, American physicist Brian Greene says that this question is meaningless because we now understand what was before the Big Bang. But when you go 13.8 billion years ago, this question becomes meaningless. Because in the Big Bang theory, when the universe is created, time also begins. So when there is no time, that is, before the Big Bang, then there is nothing. Although the Big Bang is a theory and we cannot say exactly what was before it, most of the world's physicists believe that time began with the Big Bang, and before that, it meant nothing. That is, in an indirect way, they say that reason, we do not have the ability to understand it. Our knowledge currently says that time began then, but maybe in a few years progress will be made, and we will realize that, for example, there is negative time. It means we go back from time zero. This American physicist continues, one thing that is always ignored is positive and negative attraction. What is gravity that you know? For example, a ball falls from our hands. The gravity of the Earth pulls it towards itself and knocks it against itself. But Einstein said, there is also negative gravity. It means a kind of repulsion. Gravity pulls towards itself with the same acceleration. Repulsion repels with the same acceleration. We have never seen a repulsor, because the Earth has gravity and all the planets of the solar system have gravity. Even the Sun itself has the most powerful attraction. Einstein says that you imagine, for example, an energy as gravity, but instead of a planet or a star. When attraction comes from an energy, it can repel it instead of attracting it. We said these to understand what happened in Big Bang. The Big Bang was not actually an explosion. Rather, it was a huge energy that exploded at once with a lot of repulsion. That is, the whole energy threw itself around. This expansion that he finds continues after 13.8 billion years of time. One second after the Big Bang, the temperature of the universe reaches 10 billion degrees above zero. In this situation, the heat is so high that the atom does not have a chance to form, and the heat is so high that there are atomic particles, particles that will slowly create everything. After this event, it took 370,000 years for the first atom to form. Do you know what atom it was? Hydrogen atom. Next, the helium atom is formed. The heat created after the Big Bang is still a mystery to scientists, and they couldn't figure out why it got so hot. At this time, when we don't have an answer for something, but we have a theory, scientists present different opinions and give their own reasons. For example, some of them say this was not the first Big Bang, and the Big Bang happened in another universe, and like dominoes, Big Bang, Big Bang came forward. So one of the answers we can give to the first question of the video is that there were other Big Bangs before the Big Bang. Maybe infinite Big Bang, back to back. The same theory goes on to say that the universe was born by the Big Bang and will eventually end and the next Big Bang will happen, but the years are astronomical. It means that a coincidence may take trillions of years. The theory that we just said, which means that the Big Bang happened one after the other, is called Big Bounce. There is another theory about the universe called Eternal Inflation. This first theory is too much for our intelligence. In this theory, imagine a universe like a cell. What does the cell do when it is alone? It is divided into two parts and becomes two, and this continues, which we call exponential growth. In this theory, universes are created one after the other and expand as well. Many people think that the Big Bang was a very important event, but some people believe the opposite and say that the Big Bang was a simple event among other Big Bangs that continued and will continue indefinitely. In fact, we may never be able to understand how this world came into being at all. What was before that? What happens after that? You are too small for now. Maybe later we will grow up and be able to understand something. 
One day, we will probably get these answers. Humans have proven that they never get stagnant and move forward until their last breath. What do you think? What really existed before the Big Bang? Which theory do you agree with? Thank you for watching the video. Best wishes, see you later.